Hello again, YouTube. Carl Welch here. I know it's been a while since one of my last updates, but I've been going through some kind of big changes in my life, both career-wise and with some of the equipment and direction that I'm kind of going with some of the stuff on the channel. So um, I've also had a uh, spent some time building a new area to record videos, so I should have more freedom and the timing in which I can do it, and a little bit more space, as well as some little better equipment. So overall, I'm hoping to come back to you guys with um, a little bit better quality of video. And said again, I apologize for the delay. So I want to get a video out. This one's probably gonna be a pretty quick one. This one's basically just kind of a test of some of my equipment and location, and just a little update for you guys to let you know that the channel's still gonna be around and I'm back and I'm gonna be putting out some more content for you. First thing I'm sure you'll notice is a little bit different background in the video. Um, this is just the plywood surface of my new workbench that I built. Um, I might be changing the background depending on how this one looks. So definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think. So beyond that, um, this is a new camera I've got and I wanted to kind of test out the quality both of video and audio. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a EDC update for you. We've got a lot more EDC updates coming out because a lot of stuff has changed, but one of the um, big changes has been some of the stuff on my keys. And it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, so uh, what I've been carrying on my keychain has changed a lot. So I thought I'd take you guys through it for one of my videos. <clears throat> First of all, I am still using the aircraft cable ring. These are excellent. They just provide a lot of flexibility, um, ease of taking stuff on and off. You don't tear up your fingernails trying to get split rings apart. One thing I find is with some flexibility in your keys, they ride a lot more comfortably in your pocket. They're not as jabby. So it allows you to carry a bigger keychain with more tools on it like this more comfortably. Um, this is a lot of stuff to have in your keys. It might be kind of bad for the ignition in your vehicle. Uh, personally, I drive kind of older vehicles, so that's not as huge a concern for me, but um, it's definitely something to think about. One other thing to think about with aircraft cables is you do have to make sure that they're tight. You can see this is just a little um, twisting locking nut here and it works pretty well however it does tend to work its way loose sometimes so just kind of by habit I tend to just every now and then make sure it's kind of tight in my pocket. One well, of the next things this is something I've been looking at for a while and if you're familiar with Atwood tools at all you know they're a little hard to get a hold of but finally picked up um, this tool which I've been carrying um, I definitely like it a lot uh, this is S3V, I believe this is a uh, pry. I'm gonna have to look up the name of this one. Uh, I'll put it in the channel description because I'm not 100% sure what the name is off the top of my head, but it does have your um, hex, basically wrench design here. Bottle opener, pry bar. Bottle opener works very well. Um, unfortunately, I have had some that work a little bit better, but this one definitely gets the job done. And it's more functional as a tool overall. The next thing, just my car keys, house keys, nothing too serious there. Still have the little uh, Kensington or Kingston uh, thumb drive. Still holding up really well. Kind of a small capacity. Uh, I think this was only a uh, gigabyte. So it definitely is not a huge capacity. 16 gigs maybe? There again, I have to look that up. Let's take a look here on the back. I think I can still barely make it out. Oh, it's 16 gigabytes. So. You know, not a huge capacity, but decent. And it's holding up pretty well. See, it's taking a little bit of abuse, kind of bent and everything like that, but it still works all right. Another thing on here is I do, I added a handcuff key, more for show than anything, but you know, in case of illegal uh, restraint, certainly nice to have. Um, this one has the double locking pin on the back and it's just a regular old metal lock. It came with a pair of Smith & Wesson handcuffs I bought really inexpensively. The one downside to that on my keys is it always sets with the pin for the double locking uh, facing up. So one time when I was going for my keys, I actually dug it underneath my fingernail and kind of hurt. So definitely be aware of that if you're going to carry a handcuff key on there. I also have the magnesium fire starter I've had before and also the Quantum D2. Not sure if I've done a review of this for you guys or not, but I'll definitely will be doing that if I haven't. Uh, this one does have the tritium vials, probably too bright in here to see, kind of see a little bit of a blue glow there. Those are actually radioactive isotope of titrium that will basically glow for about 10 years. This has infinitely variable up to 120 lumens. And the other cool thing about this little light is the stainless steel body threads apart and has lots of nice fine threads. 
and it has a little rechargeable battery and comes with a USB charger. So you can always recharge it. So you get a lot of a lot of use out of it. And it's still a real compact battery, rechargeable, pretty decent runtime, especially for how bright it is. You can see there it's infinitely variable once I get it screwed back together. It starts off real dim and works its way up to really bright. So extremely bright little keychain light, very small. The little blue traction wheel bottles are really nice because you can kind of see them in the dark glowing. They're not super bright, but you can see them. It's almost like glow in the dark. I do have the Leatherman and Squirt PS4 still on here. Um, this is one of my most controversial items for myself personally on here. This is a very heavy item. It does provide a lot of functionality, especially in my new job. I'm not really allowed to carry a lot of my EDC stuff, so it's nice to have a Leatherman on me when I can't carry my full-size charge on my belt. So this guy stays on there for now, but it is about as heavy as the rest of my keychain. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, this is my most recent addition. This is a little Tech Accessories uh, pocket clip. And if you're not familiar with these, they're really nice. They basically hang on the edge of your pocket. It takes the weight off the bottom of your pocket and takes away the key bulge from it sitting in the bottom of your pocket like that. So you can hardly even tell your keys are in there. It makes it really easy to grab, kind of more secure. So I definitely recommend these. Uh, this is Tech Accessories. Very good little product. I think they're about $12. Um, but this one's nice and small. Fits on the keys really well. Nice and easy to carry. Uh, so pretty happy with the setup. It is a little bit heavy right now. Still debating on a couple of things on there. The um, As much as I love the, P the Squirt PS4, it may be replaced with a Victor Knox tool. But that's hard to say because I do like the plier functionality and everything. So for now, that's the way it is. Um, definitely provides a lot of functions, a lot of uses, um, very flexible, not too bad to carry. My only concern is maybe a little heavy for your car ignition. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, definitely make sure to give me a like, leave me any comments, and definitely don't forget to subscribe because there's going to be a lot more videos coming out soon. Thank you, guys.